Talmud Bavli, Masechet Brachot, Perek Rishon, Daf Gimel Bet. Bechadati in a new structure. Uh, next. Why suspicion? But let the prohibition be derived from the concern for demons. An answer, betray. This is in a case of for two. A question, If it's two, then there is no suspicion. Betray ufritse. For two, it's for two men of low moral character. Mipne hamapolet, because of collapse. Vete pukle mishum chashad umazikin, but let the prohibition be derived from concern for suspicion and demons. Why talk about collapse? Bitre uchshere, for two men of high moral character. Mipnei hamazikin, because of the fear of demons. Veteipuk le mipnei chashad umapolet, but let the prohibition be derived from the concern for suspicion and collapse. Bechurva chariti ubitrei uchshere. In a new ruin, uh, where there are two men of high moral character who want to enter. If it's where two, uh, two men, there is no concern for demons either. In their place, we are concerned uh, for their, we are concerned, that is, we're concerned for their harm even if they're together. And if you prefer, say, Le'olam Bechad. Actually, for one, uve churva charti decae bedavra, and where the ruin of a new structure is located in the fields, da tamishun chashad leka. There is no concern. In this case, there is no con- concern for suspicion. Daha isha. Bedavra lo shkicha, since a woman is not commonly found in the fields or alone in the fields. Umishum mazikin ika. Nevertheless, there is still a concern for demons. Tanu Rabbanan. The rabbis taught in a brisa. Tanu Rabbanan. The rabbis taught in a brisa. Arba Mishmarot Havei Halayla, the night consists of four watches. That is, each hour, is three hours long. Divrei Rabbi, the words of Rebbe. Rabbi Natan Omer Shalosh. Rabbi Nasan says three. Mataim Tamei de Rabbi Natan. What is Rabbi Natan's reason? For three, dichtiv for two. We have all kidon umea ish asheri to bikte hamachne rosh haash moret hatichana. So Gidon and the hundred men that were with him came to the edge of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch. Tana a brisa taught ein tichana ela sheyesh lefaneha ula achreha. Middle is only when there is something before it. And after it, which therefore means three. The Rabbi may tichona, and Rabbi says, "What is middle?" Achat min hatichona shebat One of the two middle ones. The Rabbi Natan. Uh, uh, Rabbi Nathan says or argues, "Mir ketiv tichona she batichonot." Is it written a middle one of the middle ones? Tichona ketiv. 
it's written the middle one, which implies three. Now we'll just move up. So now we're starting with my timer, my my timer derabi. My timer to Rabbi. My timer to Rabbi. What is Rabbi's reason? Meaning why? Uh, meaning what's Rabbi's reason for saying that it's divided into four watches? Ama Rabbi Zrika, Ama Rabbi Ami, Ama Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi. Rabbi Zika said, Zrika said in the name of Rabbi, he said in the name of Rabbi Yoshua Ben Levi. Katuve Chad Omer. One verse states. At midnight, I will rise to thank you for your right for your righteous judgments. And another verse states about King David: My eyes preceded the watchers. Um, therefore, when he awoke, the term watchers ashmurot means there were still two watchers. Haketzad, how is this? Arba Mishmarat Havei Halayla, the night consists of four watches, obviously. The Rabbi Natan Sava like Rabbi Yoshua, and Rabbi Natan holds like Rabbi Yoshua. Ditnan, for we learnt in a Mishnah, Rabbi Yoshua Mer, Ad Shalosh Sha'ot, until the third hour, so the obligation tree, the morning Shema, uh, is until the third hour, Ad Shalosh Sha'ot. For it is the way of, the, of kings to arise at the third hour. Shit uh, delelia, six in the night. That is six hours remaining in the night from midnight until dawn. Betarte demema, and two in the day. mishmarot. These come to a total, or these come to two watches. Rav Ashi Amar, Mishmara, Mishmara, Uflaga, Nami Mishmarat Karolehu. One and a half watches are also referred to as watches. Which means that if you get up in the middle of a watch, there's still two watches or more than one watch left. And therefore it could be three watches. The Amar Rabbi Zrika, Amar Rabbi Ami, Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. Rabbi Zrika said in the name of Rabbi Ami, who said in the name of Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Ainomim Bifne Hamet, Ela Dvarav Shelmet. One may not say in the presence of the deceased anything except matters that pertain to the deceased. Ama Rabbi Abba Bar Kahana, Rabbi Abba, Abba, Rabbi Abba Bar Kahana said, Lo Amran Ela Bidre Torah. This ruling was said only in regard to Torah matters. Aval Mile de Alma Late Lanba. But worldly matters, there is no objection. The Ika de Amre, de Amri, there are those who say, Ama Rabbi Abba Bar Kahana. Lo am amaran ela bedivrei Torah. This was said even with regard to words of Torah. The chol sheken mi de alma, and certainly uh, about worldly matters. Ve David be falga delelia hava kae, and did David arise at midnight? Me orta hava kae. He was awake from evening. Dichtiv, as it's written, Kidamti Bvanefesh Vaash Vaash Vaasha Vea. I rose at Nefesh, that's evening, and I cried out. Umi Mai Deha Neshef or Tahu, and from where is this word Neshef? Does this word Neshef 
main evening dichtiv benishif be'erev yom be'ishon laila va'afela at nefesh as the daylight wanes in the blackness of night and darkness. Now to resolve the original contradiction, Amar Rav Oshaya Amar Rav Amar Rabbi Acha. Hachi ka'amar, this is what the verse means. Me'olam lo avar alai chatzot layla b'shena. Midnight never passed me by uh, when I was asleep. Meaning he would always be awake before. Rabbi Zeira amar, ad chatzot layla haya mit namnem kesus. Until midnight, David would uh, King David would doze like a horse. Mikan ve'elach haya mitgaber ka'ari. Henceforth, he would make himself as strong as a lion. Ravash yamar, ad chatzot laila haya osek b'divrei Torah. Until midnight, he would be involved with words of Torah. Mikan ve'elach beshirot v'tishbachot. Henceforth, with singing and praises. V'neshef or tahu, and does nefesh mean evening? Ha neshef safra hu. Nefesh mean, neshef means morning. Dichtiv, as it's written, Vayakem David maha neshef ve'ad ha'erev lemacharatam. David smote them from the nefesh, and from the neshef, sorry, until the evening of the next day. My love mitzapra, mitzapra ve'ad lelia. Doesn't this mean from morning until evening? And therefore, we see that Neshef means morning. Lo, no, me'orta va'ad orta, from evening, Neshef, until the next evening. Ihaki, if so, lichtov meha Neshef ad haneshef. The verse should have been written from, from Neshef until Neshef. Or meha erev ad ve'ad ha erev, or from evening until evening. Therefore, because it doesn't say Neshef, perhaps it does mean morning. Ela Amar Rava, rather Rava said, Tre Nishpe Havu. There are two meanings of Neshef. Nashaf Lelia Ve'ate Yemama. Night departs and day arrives. Nashaf Yemama Ve'ate Lelia. And day departs and night arrives. Vedavid mihavayada palga delelia emat, but did David know when it was the middle of the night? Hashta Moshe Rabbeinu lo havayada. Even now, even Moshe, our teacher, did not know, did not know that. Dichtiv, kechatzot halayla ani yotze betoch mitzrayim. At about midnight, kechatzot. At about midnight, I shall go forth into the midst of Egypt. Just uh, we'll just scroll down. Okay. So we are continuing from we just read Dichtiv Kechatzot Halayla Ani Yotze Betoch Ani Yotze Betoch Okay, so that's right there, so we're going to continue from Mitzrayim So we'll continue from my chatzor. My chatzor, uh, why does it say at about midnight? Il ilema de amar le kuchabricho ke chatzot. If you will argue that Kadosh Baruchu said to Moshe at about midnight, mi ikas feka kame shemaya. Is there any doubt before heaven? So how could Hashem say, use the word about? Hashem would rather be exact. Ela damale bechatzot. 
Rather, um, the Hashem said to Moses at midnight, and Moshe came and said at about midnight, Alma Mesapka le. Thus, uh, we see Moshe was in doubt. Ve David And and did David know? David Simana Havale. David had a sign. Uh, had a sign to reveal the exact moment of midnight. The Amar Rav Acha Bar Bizna Amar Rabbi Shimon Chasida Kinor Hayat Halui Lemala Mimitato Shel David A harp hung over David's bed. The Chevan Shehigia Chatzot Laila, and when midnight arrived, Baruch Tsfonit Venoshevet Bo, the northern wind came and blew on it. Umen again met a love, and it played by itself. Miyad haya omed, immediately he would arise. Ve osek batora ad she'ela amud hashachar, and engrace himself in Torah until the light of dawn rose. Kevan she'ela amud hashachar, when the light of dawn rose, nichnesu chachmei Israel etzlo. The sages of Israel entered in, in into his presence. Amru lo, they said to him, they said to King David, Adonenu hamelech amecha Israel trichin parnasa. Our master, the king, your nation Israel needs sustenance. Amalahem. David replied to them, Lecho vehit parnesu ze mize. Go and support each other. Amru lo, they said to him, En hakomet maspia et haari. A handful does not satisfy a lion. The ein habor mit male mechulyato, and a pit cannot be filled from its own earth. Amalahem, he answered them, lechu ufishdu yedechem be bagdud. Go and stretch forth your hands against against the legions, that is the foreign legions that are in the land. Miyad yatsim baachitofel. Immediately they. Uh, went to question, uh, they went out to Achitofel. Venimlachin be Sanhedrin and consulted the Sanhedrin, Veshoalin be Urim vetumim and asked the Urim and Tumim. Amar Rav Yosef, Maikara, what verse is this? What verse does this come from? The Achrei Achitofel ben Ayahu ben Yehoyada the Evyatar the Sar Tsava la Melech Yoav. Achitofel was followed by, by ben Ayahu, the son of Yehoyada and Evyatar, and the commander of the king's army was Yoav. Achitofel ze Yoetz. Achitofel was an advisor. The Chen Huomer, and so scripture states. Ve'atzat achitofel asher ya'atz be'amim ha'hem ka'asher Yisrael yish'al ish bidvar ha'elohim and the counsel of achitofel that he advised in those days was as if someone would inquire of the word of God. Continuing shortly.